Hey everyone, Brandon here with Exotic Diecast, bringing you guys another video. This is not a collection video, I already did one not too long ago, so uh, an update isn't really necessary. But I got a uh, request to do a, uh, to do a, like, kind of show of my display on the cars. Uh, just so people kind of understand, or see, like, wh how I put the cars, like, under what, like, kind of lighting or whatever, and how I display them. Um, really it's nothing too special. I just have a bunch of like shelving in my room. I just kind of put them there I'm trying to figure out something really really cool, but uh, this is kind of what I got for now I'd like to put like most of these in like acrylic cases. But we're just gonna go ahead and start on the uh, bottom right and This is just kind of the more uh, Mercedes section. Let me just close this door Okay, so this is just more of the uh, Mercedes section uh, Not really a collection video, but I'll just run through them real quick These two are, or these three are Maestos uh, Two AMG GTs, one SLS, and then a Mini Champs SLS uh, Black Series um, And then I have like a Porsche, uh, you know, thing right there I would like to have that for like all these shelving, but I don't yet uh, That just came off of uh, that poster And I just kind of cut it down a little bit more So uh, so that's why I have that, not others But anyway, just a Carrera GT, a uh, GT3 RS a uh, GT3 991 and a 918. If you guys are wondering about like all these model cars, I'll have as many links in the description to where you could buy them. But really, you could just watch my collection video. I talk about them, the scale, who makes them, all that, that, and in, in greater description. I'll have the link to that in like um, in like an annotation or something like that. Just click like the eye on the top right, and it'll bring you to that video. Um, but if you already seen that, then you just want to the the uh, you know display. That's what I'm gonna cruise through. A little bit of uh, Ferrari collection here. Uh, we have a, uh, a again, these are all 118s, by the way. This is a California uh, T, a 599 GTO, and 458 Speciale, and then the uh, the La Ferrari. Up here, some Lamborghinis. We have the Gallardo Superleggera, Huracan, uh, the Murcielago SV, one of my favorites, and then the Kyosho, or whatever, uh, Veneno. We're just going to go ahead and jump right over here. This is the XX line of the Ferraris. We have the 599 XX Evo, and then the Ferrari uh, FXXK. Uh, so the Trek only kind of variants here. Still need a FXX to kind of complete that, but uh, they don't look too bad as they sit right now. Pretty cool. Okay, and uh, this is uh, kind of miscellaneous, kind of like the random cars thrown together. Uh, this is another Gallardo uh, Superleggera R8 uh, GT. Uh, F1 LM, a McLaren, and then the Ferrari Enzo. Moving down here, it's kind of more of the hyper cars. We have the Lycan Hyper uh, Hypersport, or yeah, whatever. Uh, not really my uh, my kind of car, but I got one for a pretty good deal on Amazon, so I figured, eh, why not? So yeah, Lycan Hypersport, uh, Pagani Zonda Cinque, Pagani Huayra, and then this, uh, yeah, I don't really know where to put these little uh, certificates or anything like that, but this is just the Auto Art Koenigsegg Agera. And then the rest of the Koenigseggs all down here with the Agera S1 to 1 and Agera HH by Frontier Art. And just kind of, you know, put the Evo magazine about the 1 to 1 back there, little HH certificate, little card about the 1 to 1, and then whatever, you know, just kind of plast some stuff up there. Um, then over here, yeah, this is kind of trying to, I'm trying to figure out what to do up here. And I used to have cars here. I only have like a Murcielago Roadster there. And then these are just like papers. I came with the LM, not really all complete, but, uh, I'm trying to figure out what I want to put here. Uh, I want to put some cool cars. I don't know if I want to do like the Ferrari timeline here from the La Ferrari down to the F40, but I still need an F40 for that. I don't know what I want to do really. Um, but all I know is this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and neither does that, but I will fill that out eventually. Uh, but for now, you know, we just got the, uh, the F50, the, another California, uh, T, uh, convertible. And then we have the, uh, blacked out F50 Diablo SV and a Reventon up here. And down here, as you can see, a 118 scale car fits perfectly here, and if I scoot this up, you could fit two, like a glove right there. And it does look cool once you close this. And then you see the cars with the glass. That looks really cool. So I'm trying to figure out what cars I should put there. So uh, I guess I need more cars is what I'm saying. Um, but anyway, and then right here, this is a good size kind of like shelf for the 132 to 136 scales. So that's what I put here. All those. And then kind of more of a hidden compartment right here. These two drawers. You open this up. And then it's mostly the 124s. And then on this side, just kind of miscellaneous, some more 132s and, and all that good stuff. So I was going to go ahead and sit down for this. So right here, you know, just kind of cruise through all this. These are all 124, and my camera doesn't like to focus. There we go. So just all 124 scales right here. 
you can kind of see that. Again, if you want more detail, you can just check the uh, collection video. So all 124s and then like some little baby cars right there. And then uh, going up here, these are just kind of like 136 and 132s. More 136, 132s. And then two 118 scale classic Ferraris. Uh, and a BBR one, what is that, 143 scale, I believe, Enzo. I uh, got a good deal on that one. Love that thing. Um, so anyway, yeah, kind of like the miscellaneous gets thrown here. Ideally, what I want is from Amazon, I want a, like, a 24 car case for 124 scales. And, uh, and I can almost fill that up. That way, it's like this cool hanging piece with like, a mirror behind it and all that. Uh, actually, I'll just go ahead and leave that open, just kind of show you guys from afar what all that looks like. But anyway, yeah, so future plans, I definitely want to find out what would look good there, what would look good here. Try to, you know, segment off these shelves more, you know, better, I guess. Um, and then I want to put my 124s in like this hanging uh, thing on the wall. I think that would look pretty cool. But as of now, that's kind of my, my display, not really anything to it. I, I'm trying to figure out where where's a better way to, to put all these if you guys have any ideas Please uh, let me know, but uh, that's kind of what what I have going on now um, I just I'd rather display them a little bit more beautifully I guess than just to put four uh, kind of like just facing forward. I would love to have like that Mercedes uh, AMG black series displayed a little bit more beautifully, but one cool thing about this is uh, you, There's these buttons. I don't know if you can see but there's these LED strips there and what we can do is uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and turn these on. There's a button right here and a button right here. They could change colors too, but we're just gonna keep it on white. And then these lights will display. And I'm gonna go ahead and shut the blinds and kind of show you guys what that looks like. Okay, and with the blinds shut, you can kind of see how the LEDs kind of act on the cars, kind of display them nicely at night, which is kind of cool. But uh, and then I don't have any lighting right there or right there, or in those drawers obviously, but, but where I do have the lighting, it kind of displays the cars nicely. So that's kind of cool, but I would like to, like I said, kind of display these cars a little bit better, other than just kind of putting four in a row, and uh, and just putting some random light on them or whatever. Um, so anyway, if you guys have any ideas on kind of what's a good display, or if you guys have any examples or whatever, let me know where I can check it out. Uh, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.